Welcome back to Adobe Dreamiverse CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to style links. So if we scroll down here, all these links have a specific uh, standard style. We want to actually make them uh, more unique. And so uh, I'm going to share with how to do this. First thing I want to share, though, was uh, last tutorial we created these uh, elements, the footer and the nav. And notice that the nav, or sorry, the footer here is shorter than the nav. And what's happening here? Well, if I switch to a real-time preview here, you can see that I've shrunk it down a little bit on each side. And if I, and what this allows me to do is when I scale inwards, you'll see that they scale in appropriately on the ends, but they don't do it on these because these are set to 100%. So I'm going to share how to do that real quick. Uh, if we select the footer here, click on it, and select footer in our CC CSS designer, You'll see here under padding, I have it set to uh, three pixels all the way around. That's for the text. But under margin, which is the one above it, I have this side and this side set to 10%. So if you have it set to percent, it works more like uh, more dynamic and more in tune with um, responsive design, which is very important with web design. So as you can see, it scales in really well that way. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the, this element up here, which is the nav. Again, I'm going to select the nav here in the selector. And all I got to do is instead of click here, instead of pixels, I'm going to choose the percent. And I'm just going to type in 10 on that side. Hit enter. And then uh, it went back to pixels. Sometimes that happens. You just got to switch back to percent here. And then over here, click on percent. And let's see if I can try scrubbing it this time uh, to 10%. And you'll notice now that both of these bars are the same. So if we switch back to uh, my live preview view, we got this cool two bars that are acting uh, very much the same. Now we'll get into styling uh, and spacing out this content a little bit better later on. But now let's talk about how to style a standard link. Not the navbar links; they're going to be they're going to fall along here. But just overall links, the whole kit and caboodle in terms of links. So the standard for links is just the A tag. So I, I can just click on the plus symbol here and just type in A. If I click on any one of these, you can see that one has an A, that one has an A. So if I just click on the plus, it doesn't matter what I have selected here, and then just type in A, um, and then just hit enter return, uh, I will have all the A tags. And when I have that selected, they'll all be affected. So the things I want to change, first of all, is in the text property. I want to change the color. Uh, I want it to be kind of a uh, more of a purple kind of color, something uh, not quite super bright, but um, something like that might be kind of cool. As I click out, you can kind of see it here. Um, maybe a little bit stronger. Uh, that looks pretty good. That's a little bright. Um, maybe just a little bit more saturated. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I want that purple color. And then the other thing, I want to get rid of the underline. So uh, that's in our dex text declaration here. Uh, decoration, I should say. And the first one is none, but you can see uh, underline is set here. It would be the second one, or overline, or align through. So I'm going to set it to none. And now all of these have changed to none for each of these properties. Now, uh, in terms of the hover state, uh, that is 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 going to change. Uh, we need to change that. And again, we're ignoring up here. We're going to do this in a tutorial for the top, but um, for the nav, we have to have more specific items. So maybe on the the hover state, we'll have it do something else, and then um, the active and the focus. But before that, maybe the visited. I want it to be a different, slightly shade. So the way you can add these is click again on the plus symbol here. And then just type in A. And what we're looking for is the attributes uh, for the anchor tag. So if I hit uh, colon, you see here we have visited, we have hover, active, focus. So I'm going to check a visited here and click enter return. And the visited one, I want to change the color completely different. So I'm thinking it uh, might be kind of cool to do like a green, something unusual, uh, just a little bit different, but maybe a little bit more yellow green. More on the yellow side, more of a complementary kind of color here. I may change these a little bit more later on, but something like that would be kind of cool. So now you can see that this one I visited last, and uh, it's now that color there. 
So uh, the next thing is, um, and maybe that's a little strong. Let me darken a little bit. So it's just a little bit different there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, make sure it has a, a text or a creation of none. And then let's go ahead and add the hover active and focus state. So if I click in here, again, click on the plus symbol and just add an A with a colon again, uh, you'll see the code handing shows me here. Now I can click on hover uh, as one. And then if I hit comma, uh, I can add a you know other attributes here, basically the same ones, and I'll add a again colon, and then this time I'll choose uh, active, and then I'll do comma, then a, and then colon, and this time focus. So all of these I'll be able to apply all three of these at the same time, and so uh, what I want to do is change the color of these from um, that purple maybe to I don't know super bright red would be kind of cool so you can see here as it, as it hovers over you know you'll definitely get that um, I could give it a text declaration of underline if I wanted to as I hover it kind of gives you a nice underline here as you can see here so that might be something uh, you might want to try out I'm gonna undo that one I'm gonna set to none um, maybe let's see maybe I'll add change the weight to uh, bold or bolder let's try bolder so it just gives a little bit more emphasis as it as it pops out so you can see here you get a little more drastic shift which is kind of cool um, bolder might be a little bit too strong so I think I'll just go with uh, bold and let's see how that looks that looks pretty good so uh, that's basically the overview of styling uh, your your anchor tags. Notice all these have the same styles um, as these, and that's due to the fact that I don't have a, any uh, more specific classes set to these, and I will do that in the next tutorial. So we'll be able to style these differently than our traditional anchor tags here. So until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Cheers.